Hello guys, this is Philip from Con Music and we're in Prague at Impericon Never Say Die Tour Fest. It's this part's icon. Hi guys. Hey man. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Good man, we're in Czech Republic. It's yeah. been six years, so we're happy. Yeah, I must say we are very, very, very happy to have you here back again after, after a long break. So, guys, uh, at 2010 uh, you split up, right? Um, have you had in mind that you would eventually come back, you know, reunite? N not at all, no, no, that wasn't in the, in the original plans. When we quit, we were set to we do at, some We were stuff. at a point in our lives where, when it was just too much and we wanted to try different things, whether it's uh, new work opportunities, the family life and all that. And uh, if you would have told us six years ago that we would, uh, you know, reunite, you know, and start, again. start touring again, put out a, a new record, uh, I don't think I would have believed you. So yeah. it's, a, it's a nice surprise. Um, Man, I mean, it is for the fans, but it is for us as well. Exactly, honestly. we missed it definitely. Okay, so. so the main reason for you to reunite was if you could point one or few reasons, you just missed it, dude. I mean, we're all musicians. We've been doing this since we've been teenagers, yeah. so it's been such a huge part of our lives that I don't know. It started when we went to a Black Dahlia murder concert in Montreal. Yeah. The whole original band was. Uh, reunited that night to see them play and, and then we started to have the discussions and it's just a matter of at the right right time at the right moment you know sure. and you're back in full strength yeah, yeah I must say I must say tonight, <laughs> tonight was fucking crazy yeah tonight was, was a really great show uh, you yeah. can tell that people were really into it and uh, it's have it's you enjoyed the crowd yeah dude it's it's unexpected like like I said we haven't played in Czech Republic since 2010 you know our last time here was uh Brutal Assault, we've played it twice. Festival. Amazing festival, I love it. <laughs> and um, I mean, the fact that it's been so long and people here are still appreciative of our music. And, and we made new fans tonight. That, you know, a lot of people were seeing us for the first time and that's cool too, that's, uh, you know, that's part of the reason why we do it, so, yeah man. Absolutely. Recently guys, you have announced the you made a big big announcement. I am, I'm talking about your new album. It's gonna come out in July, I guess. Yeah, July 22nd. Yeah, it's called yeah. Beast, On right? On Nuclear Blast, Beast. Yeah, you yeah. signed to Nuclear Blast. That's uh, great. Really, really great. Yeah. I mean, uh, we've known a lot of people from Nuclear Blast for years, so we're working with friends. Uh, they treat us like family. Uh, as soon as I hit them up, as soon as we hit them up, about you know possibly putting out a new record they were all about it so we didn't discuss with you know any other labels or anything and it, it just made sense it's you know they launched the careers of Meshuga and then Flames and now they have Hatebreed and Slayer I mean it's they're one of my favorite yeah, labels yeah. so it's 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 an honor definitely uh -huh. and it makes us worth uh, work hard as well you know so we got to be up to the challenge so. yeah Talking about the new record, how's it gonna be musically? Like we have seen a we have seen a trailer trailer. Yeah, yeah for that you record. heard a, you heard yeah. about 20 seconds of a new song. Yeah, sure. It seemed to me that it kind of follows up where you ended it, uh, where you dropped it at uh, Day of Morning. Yeah, well, how's it gonna be? but still, we I think we took the time to revisit some of the older stuff we did and like the original in bands that influenced us. So the new stuff is really, I think, it, it just summarizes uh, our whole career. I mean, every era of Despised yeah. Icon, whether it's like the older, more slammy, moshy, you know, brutal death metal sound. Here's the uh, here's the third writer of the band. There we go. <laughs> this is uh, Alex Grind. Forever. So Hi, hello, man. yeah. Hi, so how are you? Awesome. Awesome. The, <laughs> <laughs> the three of us wrote the new record mostly. Uh, Alex did a couple songs. Alex. So did Alex <laughs> and I. <laughs>
Speaking of the new album, uh, how's it gonna be lyrically? What themes are you touching? Lyrically, I mean, it's it's just about me keeping my head above water, you know, trying to, you know, despite a lot of obstacles, just trying to, you know, overcome. And it's also a, a concept album, you know, it's about a beast that lay dormant for quite some time and as it's awakening and, you know, and, and realizing how things have changed, it like sort of destroy, uh, adopts man's uh, destructive nature in order to sort of re retake control. And, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's about society and the, the new state of music, but it's also about our band, you know. We, uh, we were out for quite some time and, and we're back and we want to fucking destroy everything and that's beast, man. <laughs> Not very metaphorical, but uh, it's a way of explaining it. Yeah, yeah that's, that sounds very good, man. Yeah, all the viewers should be kind of stoked <laughs> about it because if you say, yeah, we're gonna rock. How about the heaviness? Because it seemed to me like with every album, well, not like you were getting heavy, but you weren't going soft. Like most of the bands nowadays. Oh, trust they me. Just grow On softer, this one, we, we haven't softened up at all. I no, mean, man, it's, it's extreme, it's, like, yeah. it's fast. It's brutal. Uh, it's definitely an outlet to get all of that energy out of you. And uh, there's a lot of grindcore influences, a lot of brutal death metal. It's uh, you know people expect the band. Uh, the, the older they get, the more accessible they get. And uh, we have uh, the opportunity to play other uh, types of music with other bands. And but when it comes to being in a band together, it's death metal it's fast it's furious and it's just gotta be brutal that's man. that's that's the only thing that comes out you know yeah. right, this is us good. don't don't forget to pick up the beast yeah beast july, july 22nd guys during your hiatus during your break what have you been doing what have you been up to have you get some break from the music or no you were yeah some of us completely stopped doing music some of us uh, obviously started new uh, projects alex was in no better brave uh, i had my uh, max black Dahlia, yeah max lavelle joined uh, black dahlia murder uh, i went back into my old progressive metal band called heaven's cry mm -hmm. and some of us had kids raised families and stuff but now Kids are grown up and they're a little older, so it's easier to be away a little more. And the, the, the timing Once in is a just while. right. Once know? in a while, the yeah. timing's right. We're trying not to overthink it all, and it's just we we, we hadn't seen each other in, in a while. We all kept in touch, but uh, like he said, when we met up to see Max, our old bass player, at a Black Dahlia concert, uh, it just it felt right. All of a sudden, we were at a point in our lives where we could sort of. You know, allow, some allow time ourselves to, to take the time yeah. to do this band on our own terms. You know, touring not often, not a full-time touring band by any means, but uh, just a bunch of friends that love creating brutal music and playing a couple of shows here and there. So, like I said, we're in Czech, Czech Republic. Uh, if you do uh, hear about us playing in Prague or anywhere around next year or whatever, you better show up because it'll be a the only years, time maybe. you can see us. You know, in we a couple will, of years. So. <laughs> Let's touch a different topic for, for a while. Um, the NHL playoffs are uh, on the way, but no Canadian teams in it. What do you say to <laughs> it? It's a bad year for uh, hockey in Canada. Yeah. That, that being said, we have a lot of Canadian players in a lot of American bands. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Bad luck. Guys, so what's in the future for you right now? What does the future hold for you apart from the new album? I mean, like right now, you're gonna pack your things? Well, we're just doing this European tour for two weeks and then we go back home and we will uh, play those uh, uh, home festivals in uh, Montreal and uh, in the Quebec region. Uh, we're playing Canadian festivals, we're, we're going we're, to Japan. We're, we're, also. we're working on some US dates, we're headlining a festival in Japan and we're gonna be doing a short run there as well. So. Let's you know, ahead. more concerts. Uh, yeah. You know. We were trying to get so Europe, US. we'll see you guys uh, next year at some point. That yeah. sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Thank you for the interview, guys. Really, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. So Thank the, you very these much. were this place icon. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs>